Alright, what's up guys, as always, welcome back to another, well, Wi-Fi battle versus Eddie. We have battled before, and it got really weird last time we battled, and I wouldn't lie if I said that this, this is, if anything, a very much a trick room team. Um, that said, like, it has a few good sitters, and all of them pressures me quite naturally. Um... The thing is, though, like, Koske is kind of right, but overall I'm struggling badly here, and it seems like he will be able to set up Trick Room freely. It's only a few mods that do kind of enjoy being in Trick Rooms, with that I'm going to lead off with my Hyperacusis, which by the way is like, that nickname is based on... Um, I was gonna say brain damage, but it's basically high enough sound to pop your eardrums. So, <laughs> I figured that um, that mental statement should be should be worthwhile. So, Stakataka, phenomenal. I don't want to see it. Lead off with Yuxi. Crash health. Thank God. All right. So Yuxi has every every possibility of being able to outspeed me. And um, if I were him, I'd probably switch out here. Just designed sw to stay in. Let's see, this boomers will do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know what? One. One down. Two to go. <laughs> I can do that. Let's see, Stack Attack should come in here. And the thing is, Stack Attack's Yara Bolts are awful. Awful to soak. <sighs> I need to wheel that Pokemon down somehow. That Boomers was great. I don't think that crit mattered, but it definitely, it definitely enforced the power of that Boomers. After all, I'm spec, so yeah. Magirna, all right, all right. Um, I mean, it's resistant and all. If I were him, I'd probably set up. Osma kind of deals with it head on. Flash can is neutral. Floor can could be kind of annoying for me. But Trick Room like makes sense here, so I'm gonna actually switch out. Um, it could be a setup with uh, stored power and uh, gear grind. Um, trick Room, there I go. Makes sense. Like basically, I had no real good switching to it, so why bother? Um, let's see. Leveling back in full here. But he loses nothing by switching in something like Marowak as is this. And I think Volt switch is kind of right. So I'm gonna go for an air impulse. Hard switch out. Two Blizzard Vol. Yeah, that's a nickname though. High horsepower and whatnot. <laughs> Ooh, this is, a, this, is a, this is a fat boy. I think high horsepower does plenty on me. The thing is, everything does plenty on me, so I. That's an Inkosuke. I still try to do really good damage no matter what. But I'm just leveling back and forth of how much punishment they can take before going down. Great, so got that play right. Oof. Oof. Here comes the icicle crash. How many more turns do we have to deal with? At least one more. We gotta try to stomach one of these and shore up. Um. Oh, we're slower, so we're outspeeding him. That's unfortunate, actually. I will crash. How much will it do? Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty. Let's see. Am I able to summon this even? Isle Crash is such a free like move for him. 
Yeah, yeah, I gotta do this. Basically, I have no real play. Just, just pain. <laughs> because this guy does so much damage. Um, I mean, this is gonna be resisted, and you know, short sure, call it whatever you like. Um, now, Stone Age looks to be alright, but I'm actually gonna flip turn here. I don't think you want to take a Stone Age from me. Oh, he does. He does. Ooh, <laughs> that did good damage. So let's see, what did he go for? High horsepower again? Or an high school crash? Nah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. I wouldn't. High horsepower, it makes sense. Close combat. Gonna stomach that all right. Question is whether or not he wants to sack play this. U turn. Yes, finally, like, get that guy out of here. Grisilia, yeah, makes sense. Choice Benny, U turn, here we go. Basically, I am all about stopping him from uh, setting up trick rooms. <laughs> if that makes sense. Actually, I think... Unless he attacks me to go for a Lunar Dance, I'm free to go for this Boom Burst. Since trick room is negative, after all. And I think stack attacker can come in on this. I sadly think he can does or does that quite all right. Huh. Yeah, he doesn't sag it at least. Safe play to Magirna. And now we get to see how much he would do against the Magirna. Resisted and all, Magirna is quite bulky. Wait, they're all right. It is absolutely all right. Um. I kind of want to go for another one. I think Floor Cannon is, however, the better play, so <laughs> I'm not even going to take that risk. Oh, that did good. That did real good. But like I said, I don't want to take a Floor Cannon. Trick Room, yeah. That was probably his easiest play, too. Like, I'm leveling back and forth, but quite frankly, if I had to guess, that play makes sense. So, I'm fire blasting this time then. Don't enjoy any of the matchups I might be forced to be dealing with. But I could stomach one or, one or two. The versus Marowak, I'm, I'm not that cocky. Let's see, switch this out, go into Blizzard. Oh, I need to connect this. I need to connect it somehow. Thank God. Right, there you go. He's gone. Uh, and now Marowak comes in and I don't know what to do. <sighs> Marowak is definitely annoying. Mainly because Flare Blitz still does a lot. Fit Club is quite annoying. Yeah. Osteor. Yeah, that's a good... I like that. I like that a lot. Um, like, basically, Flare Blitz is a very safe play overall. Right? Three turns of madness. If I were him, I just... I just Shadow Ball. Or Shadow Fit Club, Poltergeist, whatever. Costa can take a hit. It still loses to the matchup anyway. So, with that in mind, why not see what it wants to do? I need to survive two turns of his absolute damage power output. 
Poltergeist. He actually did go for it. I won't deny it. I kind of felt that was... Um, that was a less sufficient one. Right, two more turns. So you have recruits, and I'm going to send in... I want him to serve it, for sure. <laughs> and I, maybe it's too obvious, or hopefully it isn't. But I need him to do it. Earthquake. Wow, alright. We're not gonna take that. Damn. Good on you, man. Good on you. Good on you. Damn. That was a good play. Let's see. Rainbron can't do anything, so I'll send him in. Just to hopefully hear it quakes again. Damn shame, really. Because I need all like residuals I can on this guy. Just you turning. In theory, I'm second this. But he got the better of me from here, so it makes sense for him of actually get. I was gonna say allowing him to do exactly what he needs to do. Ah, damn shame I don't have anything like. Uh, I'm actually going to go for a Hydro Pump this time. Let's see, his remaining mons are... Cresselia, which is not a Frith. Magarina, which dies if it switches in. And Stagataka, which is absolutely a Frith. So I hope that comes in. He's leveling too, so I like that. He just decides saying, so we're going to hopefully knock him out here. It's a Marowak, it's gonna die. Yeah, I was like, yeah, right. Doing everything in my power to not let um, Stack Attacker come in. I'm still in an awful position, however. But I know Magirna's Full set Moopool might not be able to. That's about it, though. That's about it. He's gonna get the trick room going no matter what. Oh, he would root. He would root to Cresselia. So. Lunar Dance, trick room. I am too slow. Let's see. He probably didn't want this either. Thinking about it. I don't know what this guy can do. He can moonlight. And if so, then I gotta make a decision. But usually these guys are Trick Room, Lunar Dance. And I don't think he likes to allow my Slow King to be able to outslow him. Yeah, Moonlight. Makes sense. And we will do nothing really, but we got Poison, which was planful. must be rough. This is, I mean, Cresselia is bulky. After all, it's very bulky. And Psychic only hits me neutral. And usually this, they could have Toxic, and it's something that's passive and it works well. Um, I really don't have, like, 
at this point it doesn't matter who wins i think we both got a good showcase of what we wanted moonlights yeah that's fine because basically what i need to do or somehow settle is um i mean he forces me to go for a boom burst And there is nothing I can do. Oh, we did good damage. <laughs> we did really good damage. Let's see. The issue is that I think he get enough turns where it doesn't matter. Stag attack is just going to rip me apart. I don't enjoy Yarbles at all. And I think he has three turns of absolute power. But if he goes to Magirna, I'm not very worried. But I think Stagataka is, um, is a good middle ground play because Earthquake is something he can lock himself into and uh, that should be wrapped basically. I hate stack attacker. I really do. But yeah, switching back and forth, trying to solve earthquakes. You can also have body press, which by all means should do good damage no matter what. Super power. That's good. That's actually really good. Why would you do that? Combine it with either Jarable or Earthquake. I think Earthquake wave makes more sense. And if he Jarables, he Jarables. I am very surprised by that play. Very aggressive. Let's see. Stone Edge. Ah, well, that I didn't expect. So one more turn. It's minus one, and I like that. Stone Edge superpower. All right. Stone Edge superpower. And Jarable, like, yeah, Jarable is a play. Every time. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's see. I probably, I just need to connect this. But I definitely won't break him. Yes! Yes! I don't care at this point, it's just, just damage. Ah, oh, that's wonderful though. That is wonderful. It went down. He should just have Jarable. I'm looking at this like Jarable. Like the only combination that makes sense with Stack Attack is Jarable, Earthquake, Stone Edge. Superpower, yeah, it's up there, but definitely a heavy, heavy consideration. Oh, yeah. What was that? Yeah, it got saved. The Lunar Dance got saved because it was a full HP. Oh, I hate this game. Oh, I hate this game. I forgot about that tech. <laughs> That's phenomenal. So let's see. I always have speed here. But I really, really deserve a miss. But also, I can't break this guy. Like, you simply cannot. Let's see. Trick room. Good on him. So if I were him, you know, floor cannon. Or flash cannon. I don't want to give him a soul heart, so I need to switch in Osmath. It just, like if I give him a plus one, I am in trouble. And if it goes a floor cannon, I'm pretty sure I should soak that right focus blast. Yeah, that's, that's a very nope. That's, yeah, wow. 
You ever wonder why a Galarian Slowking is OU? It goes something like this. It's a very, very thick boy with a good defensive typing. Can you break me? And I would slow him, so... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ice, ice beam, yeah. It's real nice seeing Magerna, but... Um, that's about it. Oh no. No, no, the timer. Need to wrap up the game. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you... <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> Didn't you want to give it to me? Anyway, Eddie, thank you so much for the game. Real blast. Just as fun to value as it was last time. And the Trick Room, yeah, it always... Like, if that... If that stack attacker was what it was supposed to be, I would not have been able to beat this. So with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next battle. Until then, take care, everyone.